Hi, everybody. Watch this. Now, if you want to learn how to make a video like that, then keep watching. Now, for this tutorial, I'll be using the Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Elements package. The Sony Vegas Studio also has a keyframe feature. It really doesn't matter which one of these you use. A keyframe can be thought of as a sheet of glass with an image on it. And you can move the image from place to place on your video. It's basically animation. Alright, now that you know what a keyframe is, Let's get started on this project. Okay, we're going to start off by moving our video into the Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere nonlinear editor. Now that we have our video in our editor, I'm going to scrub through it and make it, oh, I'm going to say five seconds long. All right, now that we have our base footage, um, I'm going to open up uh, Photoshop and I'm going to grab an image that I downloaded from the internet. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a black anvil. Once in Photoshop, I'm going to delete the white background so that I just have the anvil image. And there's our anvil. The checkered um, white and black uh, background means that the background has been deleted. Um, it's basically an image on a sheet of glass. I'm now going to import the Anvil image into the Adobe Premiere uh, video editor. Once the image is in the editor, I'm then going to drag and click it onto my timeline. Once on the timeline, you can see the Anvil with the background of the base footage. I'm then going to change the scale of the Anvil so that it's the proper size for this video. Now the fun part we're going to activate our keyframes. I'm going to scrub the base footage to the point where I start screaming. And I'm going to place the anvil on top of my foot at that point. Once I'm happy with the placement of the anvil, or the image of the anvil, I'm now going to activate the keyframe. And I do this by clicking on the tab that says Motion. When you click on the Motion tab, that opens up a whole bunch of options for you. We're Right now, we're interested in the position, so click on the little black dot by position, and that activates the keyframe for that frame. I'm now going to scrub backwards into the film and move, actually click on the anvil itself, and that should open up a, a, a window or like an outline. Then click and drag on the outline and move it up, and you'll see a series of dotted lines. And those dotted lines represent where that anvil is going to be frame by frame. Once you're satisfied with the position and how the video looks, render it. Then you can go back and add whatever sound effects you want, and voila, you got a pretty funny video. And there you go. You've just done your first keyframe video. Now, Send me your videos. I want to see what you guys can do. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys a little later.